very distinct for different flavors. Pain is temporary, brother. Pain is temporary. And come on over to see me afterwards and I will write you your certificate. Everybody, do a round of applause. Well, I don't like spicy, so I'm thinking I, I would never do any of these challenges. You're not hurting as much as some others. No, we were two of the last three. And, uh... I'm here to get drinks for the vendors. Before COVID, <laughs> we had gotten um, gone to a hot sauce expo in London. That's where we met a lot of the makers, and we thought we should do one in Ottawa. We booked it originally for May 2020, and then uh, the world shut down, so we ended up doing it eventually in September of uh, 2021. And uh, it was a huge success. It's kind of like having a baby. You know, you're growing the baby during the six months, and then the day comes, and the baby's arrived. And you're thinking, oh, you know what, I'm tired, I'm never doing this again. And then within a week or so, it's like, you know what, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> I think we're going to do this again. <laughs> or you do. Do you, do you need another um, some day quill? Yeah, probably. I've got these with me as well. So. Okay, so those would, those would work better yeah. probably. Uh, well, the day quill is good for my throat. Okay, yes, that's a really good idea. He asked me to marry him probably 60, 70, 80 times, and I wasn't sure I wanted to get married again. And then one day it's like, yes, let's get married. And um, that was 15 years ago. So Heiko, when he moved here, couldn't find any hot sauce that he liked. So there was Tabasco, Frank's, and Sriracha. So he started making it for himself because he loves to cook. And we grew a couple of peppers and he just experimented. My favorite bit is doing the planting in the weeding in the springtime because I love being outdoors. If we were doing it ourselves, we'd be doing like 300 hours. So this cayenne has corking on it. The white lines doesn't mean it's bad, just means that it's spicier than the regular pepper. The inside grew faster than the outside, like stretch marks. I'd say in a week I would probably do 30, 40 hours doing anything to do with the hot sauce. He made a hot sauce called Heiko's Madame because it's the Madame Jeanette his favorite pepper, and Heiko's Madame, his favorite wife. It's our medium. It's our medium. People think habanero is hot, so... Medium. Medium, yes. Wow. Medium. Okay. Wow. You don't need very much. No, I guess not. Wow. People call me crumbs, because I only eat the crumbs of the spicy food. Heiko and I belong to this global chili club that's called the Sons of Fire, and that's a big charity group of people eating spicy things for pain and pleasure. Parkinson's was the last time and we raised $3,500 just by eating spicy ramen. Oh. Uh, I'm burning up. <laughs> this is fun. You better this hurry is, up. You thought you do this. Because I need to have some relief. There's tears coming out of my eyes right now. Okay. It's always the men. About 80% of the men is like, oh, yes, my husband, my grandson, my son-in-law that loves hot sauce and it's the women that are buying it for them. I think women may be more open to listening to me than a guy that's saying, oh, this isn't spicy, you should try this, where maybe they believe me more. Okay, this is cayenne and um, Madame Jeanette. Madame Jeanette's a very unique pepper. I am going. Yeah, use a toothpick. Use a toothpick because you don't want it on your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> My mission in life is to get everybody to at least try a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is the place to sign up for challenges. Okay, so we 